Hello everyone, this is Shumun Roy, doctoral student of environmental science program. Today I am going to present my poster on multi-scale investigation of aging effects on paving asphalt binders, which is supervised by Dr. Zahid Hussain, associate professor of civil engineering estate. Here you can see my poster at a glance that I am presenting right now. To find the research gap, I have conducted an extensive literature review. Previous studies show that asphalt binders become stiffer and bitter due to aging that cause to asphalt hardening and reduce the service life of the pavement. It is also found that aging can influence to developing pavement distresses including fatigue and thermal cracking as shown in figure below. Researcher also found that aging process can change the rheological, mechanical, and chemical properties of the asphalt binders. Recently, researchers are more interested in using advanced technology and nanoscale measurements for pavement analysis and design, which is called atomic force microscope. It provides an atomic level visual observation it interprets the changes in microstructures and phase differences. It establishes the correlations between morphology and mechanical properties. Here at the top right, uh, you can see the FM probe and top left, you can see the uh, FM machine and the, the diagram shows the basic principle that is used by the FM tool. The major objectives of this study are to evaluate the aging effect on asphalt binders, micro mechanical properties and micro and macro level and to recommend the suitable asphalt binder for pavement construction. Materials and test methodology. For materials, four different types of asphalt binders are used where PG64-22 binders uh, is selected as a control binder because this binder is widely used for roadway construction in Arkansas. And these binders are uh, collected from two different sources and both sources are uh, approved by Arkansas Department of Transportation. Test methodology. Here you can see the flow chart showing the major steps involved in this study. You can also see the dry sample and weight condition sample preparation techniques for FM test. For FM test, uh, I used a peak force quantitative nanomechanical mapping mode where the scan area was 10 micrometer by 10 micrometer and the scan rate was 0.5 hertz per second. Here you can see the microscopic morphology of the asphalt binders. The left column is for uh, unmodified the middle column is for artifacts and the right column is for pubic binder. Here you can see the surface roughness or changes due to the aging conditions. Also the B structures are uh, found to be significantly increased or changes due to the aging. Table shows the DMT modulus and addition force values obtained from FM. It can be said that DMT modulus and addition force values are increased due to aging effect. Also, base binders had the highest increment, whereas PPA plus SBS modified binder had the least increment. This table shows the macro level test results, which is a rotational viscosity and dynamic shear rheometer. Based on this uh, table, it can be shown that for RV results, S1 binders are stiffer, uh, higher viscosity than the S2 binders. And for DSL results, PPA plus SBS modified binder showed the maximum increment in rotting factor. Conclusions and recommendations. Based on the RV test results, it is evident that asphalt binders becomes stiffer due to aging. FM test results showed that binder surface roughness, DMT modulus, and addition forces all are increased due to aging. Aging indices also shows that base binder is expected to experience premature fatigue distresses than modified binders. Finally, it can be concluded that base binders modified with SBS alone or PPA is suitable for highway construction. 
I would like to acknowledge Transit in Region 6, NXF, Arkansas Department of Transportation, the Office of Research and Technology at Estate, Ergon and Paragon Tech Services, and other suppliers for testing materials, Create Estate, and associated uh, team, including staff, faculty members, judges, uh, and their time and effort to make this uh, conference successful and giving me the opportunity to present my research. Thank you all. These are the references. Thank you all for your valuable time.